Well, as we wrap up 2021, which has, of course, been a phenomenal year, and as we go into 2022, are you considering buying a home or selling a home? Well, hi, I'm Tom Daves with eXp Realty, and today we have Ali Gaziani with Bay Equity. Ali, how are you today? I'm good. How are you doing, Tom? Great. So if you could share with our viewers a little bit about yourself. So I got into the mortgage industry in 2004. So I've seen all the ups and downs over the last 17 years. Um, I live in the South Bay. Uh, I do business all over California. Love the Sacramento, Roseville, Rockland, El Dorado area. Um, love doing mortgages and helping people. Awesome. Well, that's great. Well, let's just jump right in here. So I know there's been some recent changes with the FHA guidelines. So let's unpack that. So haven't the mortgage limits just recently gone up? Can you share a little information about that, please? Yeah. So so all the FHA loan limits were raised. Uh, Sacramento County, Placer County, they've all gone up to $675,050. Um, they were 598000 prior. So they've gone up quite a bit. It gives those buyers um, a higher price point where they can come in. Um, it's, a, it's an extra $77,000. And that's a lot in our area. 100%. Well, so let's talk a little bit about the pros and the benefits of an FHA mortgage. FHA loans are great. I mean, um, you only need 3.5% down all the way down to a 580 FICO score. Um, so it give, gives those people who, who don't have, you know, a 700 FICO or a 640 FICO, it gives them an opportunity to buy a home with three and a half percent down. Um, they're very lenient on guidelines compared to a conventional loan. Your debt to income ratio goes up to 57%. So people who don't know what that means, that means if you make $10,000 a month, an FHA loan will allow you to spend 5,700 of that towards your property tax, your mortgage, your insurance, your PMI. So that gives you a lot of flexibility, a lot of more buying power than a conventional loan. And the interest rates are always lower than a conventional loan. Um, and then those people who are below 580, you can go all the way down to 500, which is 10% down. So it really helps out um, borrowers who FICO scores aren't there, credit scores are not there. Um, they're very lenient on guidelines. So there's a lot of pros to it. I think FHA loans are great. Awesome. So what are the cons to getting an FHA loan? So the cons are you have PMI for the life of the loan. Um, so you'll, you'll have to refinance out of it once you build your equity up. To me, that's pretty much the only bad part of an FHA loan. And the PMI is typically higher um, than if you were doing a conventional loan depending on your credit score. So those are the only two cons, really. I think I think an FHA loan is a great loan. So now can someone, can a borrower get an FHA loan on an investment property? No. So it has to be, FHA loans are only owner-occupied. So, okay. that's, so that's another drawback that, to the FHA financing piece. Okay. So... Well, what's the difference generally from an FHA loan and a conventional loan? So the FHA loan and conventional loan, conventional loans, your debt to income ratios are like higher. So basically FHA will allow you 57. We're opposed to Fannie Mae might cap you at 45, or if you're lucky, you can get up to 49. So it allows you to have more debt and still qualify for the loan. So, th so that's one of the biggest benefits of the FHA loan and you can get away with three and a half percent down okay and so if someone is buying a home and they're putting in an offer then what type of steps do you take um, with that buyer through that pre-approval process so the seller can be assured that it's a good solid offer right so i mean it's all about educate educating the listing agent educating the seller so that they can understand that, you know, an FHA loan is just as good as someone putting 10% down or 20% down. Um, in fact, especially because of the leniency with the debt to income ratios, it's an easier loan to get. 
but it's just the person doesn't have the down payment. So, I mean, the pre-approval process is the same as a conventional loan. You know, go through the income, the assets, and the credit, explaining to the listing agent there's nothing to worry about just because the person's putting 3.5% down. It's just educating everybody. So what does your crystal ball say, Ali, as we move into the last month of this year? <clears throat> so what does your crystal ball say as we move into 2022 with interest rates? Are you seeing much movement? So it's not a secret. Rates have climbed quite a bit in the last six months. Um, I think you'll see them continue, continue to climb a little bit. Um, but with FHA loans, like I said, the rates are always lower than conventional. So, you know, I, my crystal ball in the next three months, I think rates are, rates are going to keep rising. So what is the current interest rate on an FHA loan right now? I'm locking currently, you know, I'm locking most of my FHA between 2.75, 2.875 on a 30 year fixed. So that's why I'm saying, you know, those rates, those rates are great for versus a conventional. <laughs> those are amazing interest rates. I remember uh, when I first bought my home, you know, they were north of 8%. So <laughs> that's amazing. Well, you know, so if you're a buyer, what this means to you, if you're a buyer, is interest rates are at a historic low right now. They are moving up. So um, sooner, better than later, if you're looking to buy a home, um, I would take advantage of the low, historic low interest rates. And if you're a seller, because the interest rates are so low, buyers are able to qualify and buy more home. And the supply of homes right now is still low. There's a low inventory of homes for sale and the buyer demand is high. So um, we're looking at the beginning of this year to be a really solid 2022. So buckle up at the beginning of the year because 2022 is poised to start out ultra competitive. So, Ali, thank you so much for jumping on here. If someone wants to reach out, how's the best way? Either my cell phone or email address. Feel free to reach out to either Ali or myself. I'm always available, of course. My phone number is 855-TOM-DAVES or go to tomdaves.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.